All right, so in this video, we're going to have a look at how we can use view binding inside a recycler view. Now, as you know, recycler view is quite a uh, common, let's say, layout element that we use quite often in our Android applications. So it's quite useful to see how view binding um, can help us in this case. Um, if you are new to view binding, to Android development in general, I do have a few links for you down below in the description where you can find out more information. But let's continue on and um, have a look at how we can do this view binding in Recycler View. So basically, the main idea is what I'm going to do in this video. I'm going to show you uh, quickly how to actually implement it, and then we're going to go into Android Studio and actually implement a very simple uh, Recycler View application that uses view binding. So there are two parts, two elements, uh, two places where we need to uh, use view binding in order to uh, implement it in our recycler view. So the first one is in the adapter. Okay, so we need an adapter for our recycler view. And in that adapter, we have our element binding, which is the layout for each individual element dot inflate and here is how we get that particular binding okay so you might um, need this and then inside the view holder okay uh, usually this view holder this this custom view holder is going to be inside the custom view adapter but in any case we have our element view holder that will get past the binding okay and we will pass a binding dot root to the uh, superclass and then use this binding to actually instantiate the elements that it needs. Okay, so that is the short version. If you're very comfortable with Recycler View, then you might already know how to use this. So go ahead and do that. If not, let's go to Android Studio and implement this quickly so you have an idea of how to actually use it. So I'm going to go and create a new project, new activity here. I'm going to call this uh, let's call this view binding recycler view. All right, so I'm going to click finish. Uh, this is just going to take a second to uh, finish building here. So the first thing we need to do is we need to activate view binding in our project. So to do that, I'm going to go to build dot gradle and here inside the android block i'm going to enable build features and inside here i'm going to set uh, view binding to true equals true okay once that is done i'm going to sync my project that will just take a second to sync and i'm going to go ahead and start to implement my uh, recycler view so first of all um, I'm going to create a data type, okay? So I'm going to put it here. Uh, I'm going to create a class that's going to be a user. So let's say we display a list of users, right? Now, just a warning, I'm not going to use any, um, you know, architectural patterns or anything, you know, too advanced. I'm going to just focus on implementing a simple recycler view using view binding. So um, I'm going to create a user and that's going to have two variables val username of type string and val email of type string. Okay. And since I have my user, let's go ahead and create a class that will provide some data for my recycler view. I'm going to call this, um, let's say user generator. Okay. Let me make this an object so that we don't need to worry about instantiating the class. And I'm going to have fun um, get users. OK, that's going to give me a list of users. List of user, sorry. And then I'm going to have val user1 equals user of john and uh, let's say john at gmail.com. I'm going to have user2, that's going to be um, Anna, and that's going to be Anna at gmail.com. I'm going to have user3, uh, that's going to be Bob, 
bob at gmail.com and I'm gonna have user four. That's gonna be, let's say, Mary, Mary at gmail.com. So I have my four users. Let's go ahead and return array list of, and I'm gonna return all my users. So user one, user two, three, and four. Okay, so I have my data that I need to display. So what I want to do now, I'm gonna create a layout for my element inside my recycler view. Okay, so I'm gonna right click layout resource. Make sure you right click on res layout folder. Okay, and here I'm gonna say something like item user. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna to go to code. I'm gonna replace the constraint layout with a card view. Okay, that's going to be match parent match parent. So the card view has to have card uh, card underscore view um, card background color equals I'm going to put a white here at color for slash white and I need to define that white color. No, that's already defined. Okay, so I have my white color. I'm going to import this. Okay, so I have card view, card background color. I also need card elevation. That's going to be, let's say, 4DP. And I'm also going to need uh, card use compact padding. That's true. Okay, so I have my card view inside. I'm going to put a linear layout compat. Uh, this is going to be width is going to be match parent and height is going to be wrap content. I'm going to have the padding, let's say 4DP, just to have some nice padding there. And I'm going to put importantly orientation vertical. So I need my elements um, oriented vertically here. And here inside I have two elements. So remember my user has two variables, username and email. So here we need two elements. So I'm gonna have a text view that's gonna be, um, width is gonna be match parent, height is gonna be wrap content. I'm gonna give it an ID uh, username. Okay. And I'm gonna give it a text size 20 SP. So that's one text view. The second one is going to be very similar, match parent and wrap content. And this one will have the ID of email. And the text size is going to be a bit smaller, let's say just 15 SP. Okay, so that is my um, UI for each element, right? A card view with two elements inside. Quite simple. All right, so we have that. Now we need to start working on our um, adapter. Okay, so the recycler view needs an adapter and we're gonna implement that now. So I'm gonna say new Kotlin file and here I'm gonna say user list adapter. Okay, my user list adapter receives a private val users uh, variable of type list of user. Okay, and this will extend from recycler view, recycler view dot adapter. And here we will need a view holder. Okay, let's go inside and create the view holder. So I'm gonna say inner class, um, I'm gonna call this user view holder. Okay, and here, like we've seen inside uh, in our uh, presentation here inside, I need the binding element, element binding. Okay, so element binding for us is going to be item user binding. So I'm going to say private val binding of type item user binding. This was of course generated automatically for us based on the layout we defined here by view binding library, right? So we should have this automatically. If you don't have this, then um, you might have forgotten to activate the flag or there might be an issue here. Okay, so make sure you have this flag set correctly. Okay, so you should have that and this extends from recycler view dot 
view holder and here we need the view passed to this view holder okay so we're gonna say binding dot root okay and here I'm gonna define fun bind and we're gonna get a user of type user okay this is where we're gonna do the binding so back to our definition here at the top I'm gonna to say user view holder okay uh, sorry, uh, we're gonna see, yeah, that's correct. So it imported the right one for us. User list adapter dot user view holder. And here we need to instantiate it. And that's pretty much it. Now we can implement the three methods that we need. So implement members, select all three of them, click okay. Um, I usually like to have this view holder right at the bottom. So I'm just gonna move it here. Okay, the easiest one to implement is the get item count, which is simply going to be our users dot size. Okay, the on bind view holder, we have the holder, we have the position. So this is quite easy. We're going to say holder dot bind. Okay, the function we just created here, and we're going to take the users element position. Okay, so that is my binding. And this one is the other component that I mentioned in my presentation here. We have the binding, how to instantiate or inflate the binding. So here I'm going to say val binding equals user item binding, uh, item user binding, sorry about that, item user binding dot inflate. Okay, I need the inflator, so layout inflator dot from I need the context, so I'm going to go parent.context. Then I will pass the parent, and then I will pass false. Okay, so I have my binding, so I simply need to return binding, uh, sorry, user view holder of my binding. Okay, so here basically we create the view holder, the view holder which requires a binding. Okay, so we have that. Now all that's left for us to do is actually uh, display the elements in our individual user item. So I'm going to say binding dot uh, username, binding dot username is going to be user dot username. Uh, sorry, binding dot username dot text. Keep in mind that this is a text view, and I'm going to have um, user dot username. So that's one. And then binding dot email dot text is going to be user dot email. All right, that looks pretty good. I think that's all we need to do for the adapter. And then we're going to go and use this adapter in our main activity. So um, I just remembered we haven't created the actual recycler view. So let's go to activity main. I'm going to remove this hello world element. And I'm simply going to add a recycler view here. That should be fine. And I'm going to infer all the constraints. Okay, let's go in the code and check. That's fine. I don't think we actually need these margins, but everything else looks just fine. Okay, so that's fine. Let's give it an ID though. It has recycler view. That's okay. So in my main activity, now I'm going to use view binding to connect to my layout. So I'm going to say private late init var binding of type activity main binding. This was of course created for us by the view binding library. Then in on create, I'm going to say binding equals activity main binding dot inflate. And I'm going to have the layout inflator here. And set content view, I'm going to say binding dot root. Okay, easy enough. So that's the setup. Now we need to um, instantiate and display our recycler view with its elements. So I'm going to override the on resume function. Okay. And here I'm going to say binding dot recycler view dot adapter is going to be the adapter that we just created. So user list adapter 
But here, keep in mind, we need to pass a list of users that we have from our generator. Okay, this is just a locally generated file. But of course, you can get that from in a real application, you would get it from some other source like uh, the internet or a database or somewhere. So user generator dot get users. That's fine for the adapter and we need a layout manager. So binding dot recycler view dot layout manager is going to be the simple linear layout manager. Okay, and here we will simply pass the context, which is this, I'm in an application, which is basically a context. All right, so I think everything is in place. So unless I've made a mistake here, we should have a list of users. So let's go ahead and run this in an emulator and see what happens. Right, so I just need to update my Java 11. Uh, give me a second. So here in my build, build tools, Gradle, I need Java 11. Okay, you probably don't have this um, error, you should be fine. So now that is done, let's go ahead and run. And that we're just going to wait for that to, um, to finish building and running. All right, so it has run. There's a mistake here. You can see that the size of each element is the full page. So let's update that item user here. The height is going to be wrap content instead of match parent. All right, easy fix. So let's go ahead and run that. And then we get our recycler view. Okay, I only have four elements. So um, we cannot scroll through it, but obviously you uh, realize this is a recycler view. So let's actually, I would just like to add a few more users here. So let me just copy and paste that about three times. Let's update this. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay. So let's add the users here, user five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. Okay, we have 12 users. This should be more than the size of the screen. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so we have a few more users here. So you can see now that the recycle view works as expect expected. Um, and we use view binding in our uh, adapter to set up our recycler view. All right, so that is all for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.